Hello everyone, welcome to Ace Link Academy's YouTube channel. My name is Arjun Chawra. I'm a faculty at Ace Link Academy, an Ace online platform. So in this video, we'll be talking about what should be your last three months strategy when you are preparing for, let's say, GATE as well as Engineering Services Examination, both. Now, when I talk about the amount of time which is left for DA students and civil engineering students, the time which is left from now, from today, it is today that is 14th of November, if I, uh, at the time of recording of this video, it is exactly three months. And uh, for other engineering students like mechanical, electrical and CSC students, a time, the time which is left is a bit less. It is two weeks less actually. Now, point is, doesn't matter. Two weeks will not make that much of a difference in the end. If I talk about last two and a half months, how should you prepare for gate and what should be your primary focus in this time period it is primarily your test series how you are practicing your test series matters a lot in this particular phase right in general when we talk about examination gate examination and what should be your approach towards gate examination then you start out whatever the faculty has taught you in your class right and uh, the faculty will be telling you what are the important topics, what are what the, what are the important questions, or uh, what are the important uh, concepts, formulas, and everything. You need to practice that again and again. Practicing can be done through questions, right? Previous year questions, workbook questions, right? Now, correspondingly, what you do is you move on to the next subject. After that, you do the same thing for the next subject, and then for the next subject, next subject, and then then for the next subject. But what happens during the preparation journey is that students stop focusing on revision of their previous subjects which were covered by the previous faculties. That is the biggest mistake one student can do. If you are focused on your revision aspect when you are preparing uh, more than two subjects at a time, it will be very beneficial for you in regard of your preparation journey. If you have been doing this throughout the time of your preparation until now you are right now in a very good position right i know most of the students who are watching this video right now would be anxious or some students will be very relaxed okay three months is left um, some students will be very anxious so see every every emotion right now it is normal in this particular phase i'll not say that you are feeling anxious that you should feel this way or you are feeling very good, you should feel this way, you should not feel that way. It is not like this. Some days you will be feeling anxious, some days you will be feeling very good. Point is, you have to keep your head down and start uh, with your revisions every day, every single day, one day at a time, one step at a time. This should be your motto uh, when you are approaching these last three months. Every day, every day counts in these last three months. How? How you should cover uh, these three months? See, point is, until now, most of the students have been covering the previous year gate questions and previous year engineering services questions. Okay, DA students and uh, computer science students are not doing that, I know. But you must be focusing on previous year gate questions, right? Point is, correspondingly, the revision of notes and your previous year questions when you are doing it, it's very good. You enjoy a lot. You are gaining a lot of experience in terms of what is the language of the questions which is being used uh, by the examiner. Until now, you must be very much equipped with this. But you are, you know, not familiar with the new questions, right? Facing new questions. That can be done only through test series. Because ultimately, in the main examination, you'll be getting new questions, right? You'll be facing new questions and in a limited time frame. And at that particular time, a range of emotions come into your mind. And, uh, uh, and at that time, same time only, simultaneously, you have to maintain speed as well as accuracy. These are the two main things which are very, very important to be maintained throughout your journey in this last three months. Anything, any possibility, which hinders your speed as well as accurity should be covered in these last three months. Either they are silly mistakes, either they are some conceptual mistakes, either there is lack of practice of scientific calculator, virtual calculator, which is there uh, in the gate examination. Either you are uh, not practicing it well, 
throughout your journey all of this has to be covered in these three months and that can be primarily done through test series solve as many test series and solve as many tests as you can this is the thing i want to convey in this video that test series is one of the best ways to approach any examination and most of your revision from now on 70% to 80% of your revision should be through new questions and through test series right and left over 30 20% whatever it is there it should be through notes short notes or previous year questions our primary focus from now on should be test series right subject wide test and full length mock test from november itself you need to start with full length test right every 2 3 days try to give a full length test right in the month of november in the month of uh, december try to uh, give a full length mock test every 2 days in january every day every day you have to give a full length mock test in the month of january so that you are practicing well you are improving your speed you are improving your uh, uh, accuracy as well you are rectifying your mistakes you are following up with your conceptual upbringing which was lacking behind everything every aspect whatever you think can think of you have to cover through test series right and after this see point is have a picture of the examination in your mind most of your technical subjects in one mark questions mostly they will be right theoretical simple numerical questions will be there mostly you will be able to see that most of those questions you will be able to solve in one or two minutes right after this comes the bigger questions mostly the two mark questions which are mainly numerical questions yes theoretical questions can be there um conceptual questions can also be there but again mostly they will be having a numerical aspect to it and they would require on an average 3 to 4 minutes i'll say but there will be some questions throughout your test full length mock test which will be requiring somewhere around 5 to 6 minutes or 5 to 7 minutes like that so you have to compromise that time with the questions which are requiring less time so time frame and managing your time throughout the examination is very very important and mark the question itself in the test series which you want to uh, take a look at it once again or if you want to solve that particular question afterwards and the entire test should be done in two or three phases go through the entire test in one phase whatever questions you are able to solve in the first go very easily solve it right some questions will be there when you will read the question you will be able to solve the question directly solve it in the first go then comes the second round solve a bit tougher questions and then comes the third round in which uh, you know you'll be requiring around 6 to 7 minutes try to solve those questions by the end of the examination because most of the times when you are solving those particular questions which are requiring very high time they are kind of making us nervous when we are solving it you know in the starting of the examination we have all been through this and i'm telling you this try to solve those questions by the last or end phase last half an hour or last 45 minutes of the examination try to solve them in that time frame in the starting two and a half hours or two hours 15 minutes try to solve as many moderate or easy questions as possible right now afterwards so few questions will be you know a, an integrated integration of two or more subjects that can be understood by practicing as many questions as you can and again four to five questions will be a, a little lengthy and they will be requiring a bit more time and you have to be careful with the units these are the silly mistakes right so silly mistakes are to be taken care of and i always tell this to my students that due to these silly mistakes only in my first attempt of gate examination i lost 20 marks 20 marks right and i i i was supposed to i was aiming 
somewhere around top 50 ranking and my rank dropped to 1800 because of these silly mistakes. Right, I was able to attempt 60 questions out of 65 questions in that examination in my first attempt. That was the biggest setback I witnessed. Pro primarily these silly mistakes were because of, you know, um, lack of understanding of gate calculator. I was not uh, prepared well with that. My speed in the calculator was not good. Um, there were silly mistakes, right? unit mistakes I was doing a lot, a lot I did. Uh, in the main exam, I was panicking a lot, right? Because it was, I prepared well, right? So I was panicking a lot. And uh, conceptually, I was very strong. But when I used to solve it, yes, the same mistakes I was facing in my mock tests as well. But I was not focused on rectifying my mistakes during those mock tests. So please take care of this thing when you are preparing. Be careful with the units given in the numerical answer questions, right? So these are some aspects you need to keep in mind. After this, what is the importance of test series? So self-assessment, time management, real-time experience, you always get. Getting familiar with virtual calculator, this is the most important aspect, right? Uh, many students tend to ignore this. Uh, I don't know why, but they tend to ignore this. Even after telling them again and again, virtual calculator is very, very important. So students tend to ignore this. You don't have to ignore this in this last phase. Learning about new methods, problem solving, uh, new methods. Sometimes when we are approaching a particular question or some concept in some way, sometimes the examiner or the person who has framed those questions in the test series may be knowing some uh, other way of solving that question, which is much smaller. You can also grab onto that. Some other concepts also you can grab onto that, right? Maybe some subjects will be there uh, which you are, you know, kind of ignoring the subjects. You, if you have decided to leave those subjects, there can be some questions or some concepts in those subjects as well, which you can cover in your test series itself if the concepts are easy, right? If you have decided to leave certain subjects, that's up to you. But I'll always say cover as much syllabus as you can, 90 to 95%. If let's say 5% or 7% of your syllabus you are leaving for the examination, during the test series, if some question pops up and that question is very easy to understand or if that concept is very easy to understand, grab onto that. Something as extra will always help you, right? So maybe it can help you in future. So switching over between the multiple subjects, that kind of mindset, is very, very important in the examination. Now, sometimes when we are revising, we are only focusing on one subject, right? But when we follow test series, we are switching, right? One question will be, let's say, from synthetic materials. Other question will be from fuel mechanics. Another question will be from so, uh, soil mechanics. So we are kind of switching. So kind of uh, we are trying to analyze or practice in the sense key how to switch in between the subjects. You're making your brain work when you are solving tests. So highlights of test series, always whenever you are opting for test series, make sure that it is of very good quality. There are as less mistakes as possible. Um, and detailed solutions are available. After this, All India Rank will be given to uh, everyone after each test. This helps you to give a picture that where you stand right now. Comparison with All India Toppers of A students also, if you opt in for A test series, you'll be able to get that, right? After that, uh, what are the advantages? Very cheap, right? Uh, you don't have to focus here how much money I'll be spending on test series and everything. It is very cheap. So enroll today. Uh, access to questions prepared by experts. So we as faculties only, we'll be preparing the questions. For, we have prepared the questions on uh, in the test series, right? So we kind of are very peculiar with the, the aspect of the level of questions as well as the accuracy to be maintained. Test-wise statistics, result and performance analysis will be there and it is developed as per the exam pattern. So you can see in the test series, all of these aspects will be visible to you. So you'll be understanding how much time you have taken to, uh, you know, solve the entire examination. After that, uh, answer evaluation, 
how many number of questions you have unattempted right or wrong percentage will be given to you and obtained marks will be given to you and all india rank will also be mentioned to you uh, depending upon the number of students who have attempted the examination after that question wise statistics will be given to you how much time you have taken what is the average amount of time the students have taken who have attempted the examination so in this way you will be having a detailed analysis of how to approach uh in a particular question and depending upon that performance will also be given and difficulty level is also uh told to you in respect of the accuracy of the students right after this what you can do is you can enroll in the test series uh for uh, gate 2025 you can see that it is available for all the engineering streams out there and uh, mostly uh, most of our engineering streams out there there is da test series as well for gate 2025 uh, you can see 50 a uh, total of 108 uh, tests are available 108 tests are available and uh, esc prelims test series also when you will be starting with your preparation for entering services prelims you can also approach that this is for ec double e uh, civil and mechanical students right total number of tests will be 74 you can also take a combination of both Uh, there is a package in which you can take esc plus uh, you can take gate test series as well and uh, all the online test series which are available right now on asni academy platform and on our as online app we are giving 29% discount you can use as29 code uh, as we are uh, celebrating 29 years of as engineering academy so this coupon code is valid um, uh, until tomorrow so you can take a grab onto this right so thanks a lot everyone thank you for watching this video i hope i was able to give you certain aspect for your last three month preparation now if there is any doubt regarding your preparation journey you can just comment down i will reply from my side thank you